Hello design enthusiast have you ever wonder what are the basic ingredients of good design one of the recurring aspect you notice in a good design are their intrinsic reliance on principle of order principle of order are the important part of good design that help the user to understand the message that the designer is trying to communicate so let's begin the video Welcome to 361 bit we post interesting video every Wednesday so make sure to hit the bell icon for more interesting update coming back to the topic order are a indispensable function of any organized system but why so this principle are important these principles help the architect to create a cohesive design and also this principle are a larger form of architectural composition is seen in the building throughout the world these are the six principle of order axis symmetry rhythm data hierarchy and transformation moving on to the first principle of order is axis axis is a line established by two point in a space about which form and space can be arranged in a symmetrical and balanced manner axis can also be defined by a linear composition of the ground for example linear pool of water a very famous example of axis used in architecture is that taj mahal in india then moving on to the next principle is symmetry. Symmetry is the balanced distribution and arrangement of equivalent form and space and opposite side of dividing or about a center axis. This design principle has been historically found to be one of the most used principles due to its ability to feel natural and confronting to the human eye. Symmetry can be achieved even when the elements are not identical but complementary to each other and these two types of symmetry exist in architecture. First one is bilateral symmetry that is balanced arrangement of equivalent element about an axis and second one is radial symmetry which is equivalent element balance about two or more axes that intersect at center point. Some famous example of buildings where this principle has been used are Taj Mahal, Lotus Temple, Eiffel Wright Studio, Great Stupa Saatchi and Charminar. Moving on to the third principle of order is rhythm. While we typically associate rhythm with music, in design rhythm is the visual movement created by recurring pattern at regular or irregular intervals. Often we find structural elements are used to create rhythm in building like the use of columns, beam, door, windows at regular intervals can create a rhythm. Some famous example of rhythm in buildings are Sydney Opera House, Colosseum, Stone Tower, Clubhouse Design, Rotary Dam, Netherlands. Similar to the rhythm is repetition. Repetition refers to the repeated use of shape, color or other elements of a design. It creates a visual echo and reinforces certain aspect of the work. Repetition can create structure, movement, harmony and unity. Moving on to the fourth principle is datum. Datum is a line, plane or volume. By its continuity and regularity serves together, measure and organize a pattern of form on space. For example, Sydney Opera House is the best example of datum. Linear datum is a line that can cut through a form of common edge for the pattern, while a grid of line can be a neutral unifying field for the pattern. Planar datum is a plane that can gather the pattern of element beneath sir, and encompassing the background for the elements and frame them in a field. Voluminal datum is the volume of form or space that can collect the pattern of elements within its boundary or organize them along its perimeter. Visual continuity is the necessary to establish a datum. A datum must have successful size and regularity to successfully arrange other parts around its shape. Moving on to the fifth principle of architecture is hierarchy. Hierarchy is the articulation of the importance and significance of form or space by size, shape and placement relative to other forms and spaces of organization. Some important buildings where principle of hierarchy has been found to exist our legislative building in Chandigarh and Taj Hotel in Mumbai. Moving on to the sixth principle that is last principle is transformation and this principle is probably the one that mostly deeply encapture the process of architectural design and consequently one of the most difficult to grasp. It is the principle that architectural concept of organization can be retained strength and upon through a series of discrete manipulation and transformation. A very famous example of this principle of transformation is the library at Sinojoki at Finland. Okay guys that's all for today from my side. 
do comment down below which principle do you find more interesting and if you found this video useful then please do not forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos